we want to talk about tonight, before we get into the actual show, is Bill Goldberg. Jesse is uh, blanking out his camera. And uh, Jesse is thrilled about this news. Jesse is over the moon about this, but he can't wait. He can't wait for good old Bill. We're not talking about Big Bill, bro. We're talking about Bill Goldberg, a Mustang, muscle car loving freak that should never come to AEW. Apparently, he's a free agent, bro. Bill Goldberg is now a free agent. His contract expired with WWE at the end of 2022, but news broke on Monday that he's a free agent, leading to fans speculating whether Goldberg is going to end up in AEW. Tony Khan was actually asked about this, and he says this in regards to Bill Goldberg, and I quote, I have a lot of respect for Bill. I think Bill Goldberg is a great professional athlete and has had a great career of pro wrestling. He is a very nice person. I think he's a household name in pro wrestling. And certainly that's interesting to hear that Bill is a free agent, as if Tony Khan didn't know already. That's something to follow. He's one of the biggest names in wrestling and certainly will be something else to keep an eye on for, especially for us. We have so many great wrestlers in AEW. Yes, you do, TK. Yes, you do. We don't need to add another one who can't wrestle. Uh, So many great wrestlers in AEW and so many exciting things happening in AEW week to week, that it's always an exciting time. Bill is an exceptionally exciting name. And one of the biggest names in the sport, certainly it's a big thing for us to pay attention to, so I would take notice of that. And that is an end quote. Next. Ah, listen. I listen, the venue is upset, bro. The, ven- the, venue's u- the venue's upset. Tony, look at what you did, bro. You got my fucking people upset, man. What the fuck is wrong with you? Um, <clears throat> Jesse, what, what do you think about this uh, unbelievable news, man, that's, uh, that's budding in the community, man? People, people want Goldberg to go to AEW, man. People are legitimately, and I say this with a straight face, people are legitimately... Coming up with the excuse, bro, that, oh, well, Tony Khan has treated his legends great, better than anybody. If there's one thing that Tony Khan knows how to do, it's how to book and treat his legends on Dynamite. Bill would be no different. I like it. Have him come in for a four to six match deal and work with some middle of the road guys that ultimately leads to a match against Will Hobbs or Wardlow. No! No. No. That is not a valid excuse to bring in Goldberg to AEW. I'll give the floor to you, Jesse, first. Let me what do you got to say about this, man? Good old, good old Bill Goldberg. First off, all of the legends that TK has booked and pushed correctly were all respected legends. Let's start right there. All legends that were already respected in their craft for what they brought to pro wrestling. Christian Cage, Sting. I mean, these guys were actually legitimate wrestlers who spent their lives dedicated to this sport. And then they're in a position where they can't physically give us what they used to. So TK puts them in a position to give us what they can, when they can, and without overshadowing any of the new up and coming talent. Now, if anyone can name me one person that Bill Goldberg helped get over in his entire career, then maybe I'll reconsider my stance on Goldberg. Just one, just one. And then take the fact that Goldberg himself has has pretty much said that he only does this business for the money and that he couldn't do pro football anymore. He's just here for himself. He's never helped anyone in this damn career and we're supposed to be excited to get this guy in AEW. What is wrong with you people? I swear, I think the people that want to see Goldberg in AEW are the same AEW detractors that say only negative shit about AEW. I, it's it's amazing to me. Like like I, the, the 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 most funniest thing that I've seen in the last forty eight to seventy two hours since this news broke is people legitimately coming up with excuses for Tony Khan to sign Bill Goldberg. 
Like, I, I, like, are you people absolutely out of your fucking minds, mental? Like, AEW is the alternative. If I wanted this shit, I'd go watch fucking WWE. This is everything that is against what AEW stands for. You want to bring in Bill Goldberg? Bill Goldberg is not going to be used as well as Sting. Bill Goldberg's not going to be used as well as Jake Roberts was, who can't wrestle, obviously. But Jake Roberts was used very well in his beginning very stages. Well. Very well. This is not going to be like an Arne Anderson. This is not going to be like a... Who else is there? I, I don't want... Chris Jericho is a legend, but Chris Jericho is there every day. He wrestles almost every week. But... Yeah. Instead of being like those guys, he's going to be like a Jeff Jarrett. Someone else that yes. we have being used in a way that we really don't want to see not gonna being be, used this way. He's not going to be used like a Christian Cage who's been right. used brilliantly. Like so good. What what do you oh, oh TK uses his legends great. Yes. Yes. Bill is not a legend. I'm he's sorry. Legend. He's not a legend. <laughs> Why would you want to bring this man into the company for the reasons Jesse gave which was 100% accurate number 1. Number 2. This is the same guy that didn't give a fuck about Kevin Owens, didn't give a nope. shit about Bray Wyatt. From my sources, Bray may still be buried in Saudi Arabia. We don't fucking know. This is the same guy who ruined Big E's title run and title reign because Bill Goldberg needed to wrestle Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam, which moved Big E's title match to a fucking cash-in in Worcester, Massachusetts on Monday Night Raw, ruining the moment when it should have been Big E versus Bobby Lashley at SummerSlam because the entire summer was Bobby Lashley in the Hurt Business first the New Day. You think I forgot about that one, right? No, I don't forget anything about Great Bill bullshit. Goldberg. Number three, that's number three. Number four, like Jesse said, this guy's the most greediest motherfucker that you could ever find. He's making $4 million a fucking payday. Saudi Arabia matches here and there. He only came back for himself. He can't He can't wrestle anymore. He can't even fucking walk. He almost killed the fucking Undertaker in yeah. Saudi Arabia. You want him to come back to w, uh, to uh, AEW after his WWE run. Well, what is he going to do? What, is, what value is he going to bring? AEW. Oh, he's a ratings draw. He's a big get. No, he's not. No. He didn't do shit. For WWE's ratings. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't get it. I don't I don't understand it. Bro, I Why do you want I, this man here? I, I swear to God, man, I may be on the brink of not watching anything AEW if he comes in. Some people, you know, some people, you know, they like to try to say, well, it wasn't Goldberg's fault when he came in and Vince wanted to book him to beat Bray Wyatt for the title. Let me explain something to you, man. I don't think you would have been able to get a real legend, a real legend who loves this business to come on, sign up for a match, taking the world title off of the guy who's up and coming just so you can have a match somewhere in Saudi Arabia, some shit. Anyone would have said, yo, look, man, I want to come in and do something, but I'm not taking the title off of this guy. The fans love him. He's white hot. I mean, this should be somebody. If you if you got to take the title off some of them, do it with someone else. I'm not doing that. Exactly what I exactly what I said the night of that review. He could have said anything to Vince. Uh, Vince, I don't know if I could take the title. This guy is absolutely fucking scorching. I, I can't take yeah. the title off. in three minutes. Three minutes. Bullshit. The only man, the only people that Goldberg worked with is Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley, and he didn't even put over Bobby Lashley clean. He didn't even bother putting over Bobby Lashley clean. By the time Bobby Lashley had to drop everything to put over Bill Goldberg, he was no longer the WWE champion because WWE and Bill Goldberg, they had some sort of fucking agreement. Oh, he's back for his son. He wants to be a superhero for the kids. Fuck off. Him and his dorky ass son out there. What is he going to bring to AEW? What is he he's going to put over Wardlow? Yeah, Wardlow's going to be so over, right? Because uh, uh, they had similar chants, right? Goldberg! Yeah. Wardlow! Give me a fucking break. No. That's exactly what I want to hear on AEW television. No. No. This is a bad idea. TK, if you're listening, this is a bad idea. Very. Or better yet, how about, how about we get Goldberg coming in to break Jake Cargill's streak? Yeah, there you go. I like I, I booked it better, man. I like I like my booking better on Twitter. I think it says something along the lines of he comes in, he beats MJF, 
right away. Then he goes on to defend against uh, Jeff Jarrett in a year-long feud. All right. Then Hogan comes in as a third man. Right. And then Kevin Nash comes out with a cattle prod. And then, like, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? This man would not do business with Vince McMahon booking the show. You think he's going to listen to Tony Khan and take orders from Tony Khan on what TK wants him to do? Give me a fucking break, man. You got to be fucking out of your mind. That don't work for me, brother. Come on. (laughs) Say no to Bill Goldberg in AEW. That's an awful, awful, awful fucking move. And anybody, all the check marks thinking and coming up with fucking ideas about how it could work, fuck them. Because they're not being genuine to their audience. And believe me, if I see it, I'm calling it out. Fuck this shit. No. They got enough problems. They don't need to add fucking Bill Goldberg to the mix. No. Anyway, we're going to get into the rest of the show. 